Welcome back everybody, this is Eric from Moss Pond and Gun. And uh, today we got a very special little field trip we've uh, taken today up to Lawrenceville, Georgia to check out a Bullseye Indoor Range and Gun Shop. Uh, they're a shop that's offered me a lot of support over the years and helped me out with a lot of uh, hard to get items in the videos like machine guns and other NFA items. Uh, so today we're gonna poke around in the shop a little bit, show you around, introduce you to a few people and uh, show you some of the neat firepower they have up here. All right, everybody. Well, we're here at Bullseye, and uh, today we're going to be talking to Ben. How you doing, Ben? Good, good. All right. Nice to meet you. Well, uh, tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, well, we've been in business for over 20 years now, so we've been we've been around for a while, and so we do a real good business. Uh, we do a lot of machine guns, uh, shooting especially uh, within our range. We also do a lot of suppressors. So I imagine uh, you guys have a really good relationship with AAC? Oh, definitely, definitely. Now tell me a little bit about that uh, initial relationship with uh, AAC. Yeah, well, uh, the owner started off actually right next to where we're standing here. He, uh, he started out uh, doing some suppressor designing and then uh, decided to make his own company, uh, AAC. And um, now he kind of moved over to uh, more towards Atlanta and then he moved back out to Lawrenceville once he sold the company to Remington. So, uh, but he originally started here, worked here for a long time. Uh, we still have a real good relationship with AAC. Um, so awesome. yeah, we do a lot of, a lot of sales for them. Uh, so a lot of their suppressors. So. Awesome, well, you got a really nice uh, shop here. It's laid out beautifully. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a look at a couple of machine guns, a few yeah. other things on the floor, and uh, maybe we'll get in the range, warm up a few machine guns. Definitely, so uh, appreciate you letting us come out today and have a look at the place. Yeah, and, uh, appreciate you being here. Yeah, we really appreciate your support because, yeah. you know, your dad and you and, and everybody here has been very kind to me, mm -hmm. you know, allow me to use things. I mean, people, the uh, firepower we, that we use in the videos, I mean, if it wasn't for these guys, we'd have a very hard time getting a hold of some of these uh, hard to find items. So really have these guys to thank. So uh, thanks, and yeah. uh, we're gonna have a look around. All right, awesome, awesome thank man. you. Awesome, man, thanks, Ben. All right, man. All right, while we're looking around a little bit today, I'm gonna show you a couple of cool guns. We got a Arsenal SLR 106 and 556, uh, made in Las Vegas, Nevada, right here in the United States. Got a side folding stock. Of course, you know Arsenal, very nice AK-47. Got a few of these in stock here. I'm gonna show you some other uh, sorted firepower. It's really cool as we go along here. All right, we got a uh, beautiful little Daniel Defense M4 right here. It's one of the V5s. Very nice guns, got the low profile uh, rail system, low profile gas block. Got the longer rail system that goes out past the gas block. Um, Magpul stock, very nice basic uh, AR. Daniel Defense makes a really good product and they're also uh, based out of uh, Georgia here. They're down in Savannah. So nice local uh, Georgia based company. Let's look at a couple of others. All right, we got a really interesting rig here. This is a uh, AR57 upper. Uh, this is actually the Gen 2 model. It's got a few different features than the older model and is set up on a uh, Blackheart International lower, uh, pretty standard setup. But it takes an uh, interesting thing about it. It's got an ambidextrous uh, mag catch and this actually takes a FNP90 or, or P90 uh, 50 round 5.7 by 28 magazine. So that's a really neat feature. And as a range toy, one of the neat things about this gun too is that uh, the brass actually ejects down the magwell. So if you're out on the range and you're a hand loader, and let's say you're shooting off the bench, you can have your open 50 cal can on the bottom catching all your brass. Um, charging handle actually reciprocates and folds out of the way when you're not using it. But very cool gun. Thank you. 
All right, we got another uh, really nice uh, AR right here. This is a very special one, actually. It's a uh, AAC um, 300 blackout. It's got the uh, Knight's nice Armament rail system with the uh, Express flip-up sight. It's got the little rail that flips up, so it's a really neat uh, thing. Doesn't add any extra bulk uh, to the system. It's got your uh, brake that's ready for a can, of course. You know, it is an AAC. And uh, AAC did develop the uh, 300 blackout in conjunction with a rig like this. Nickel boron carrier. It's got a Geisley trigger. Um, very nice, lightweight trigger. Magpul stock, uh, Magpul grip. This is just a beautiful rifle. It's got a really nice fit and finish. Really good quality, excellent trigger pull. Um, you know, throw a can on this thing and you got a perfect rig. You know, I, I haven't been a humongous fan of 300 Blackout, but I did build a 300 Blackout AR. And I have to admit, the 300 Blackout rig that I build is nowhere near as nice as this. Um, this is definitely a top tier tool. got a really cool gun here. We got the Mossberg 500 Flex. Um, this is a not a standard Mossberg. Um, this is an idea that the U.S. Army actually kind of just threw out there that they really wanted a modular shotgun where all the accessories could be changed out easy. Uh, your pads for your lasers and lights added, uh, things like that. It's got a uh, modular fore end that you actually push this little plunger in and the fore end actually pulls off and the idea is that you have all these different fore ends and a modular chassis um, that you can put them on and off. All right. Um, very neat, very easy to change in the field quickly. Again, I mean, just picks up, pulls off, same thing, back on, and that's it. Now, another thing they did on this 500 is they made it where the butt stock will come off, where you can have a pistol grip gun. I guess if you're an entry team and you need a nice short shotgun, you pick up this lever and turn it. This pops off. You can keep that in the rear with the gear or in your rucksack, and then you've got a uh, modular system you can change out. Put your uh, pistol grip on the end. Of course, it interfaces in the same way, and you're good to go. Got the uh, dark earth uh, finish on it. Very slick shotgun. I think I might have to pick myself up one of these things eventually. Um, of course, all of the accessories are pretty much interchangeable with your AR-15 platform. Put your Magpul stocks on there, uh, Magpul grips, ATI, whatever you want. So uh, just thought we'd showcase this one. Very nice shotgun. All right, we're gonna check out a couple of suppressors here. Um, you know, they sell quite a few suppressors. That's really one of the uh, main class three uh, type items that they sell up here at Bullseye is gonna be suppressors. Uh, one of their most popular models is actually the Advanced Armament uh, Prodigy. And the Prodigy is a monolithic core um, 22 caliber suppressor. Monolithic means it's one piece, monolithic. And uh, the way that these uh, particular baffles are designed is to displace the gases as they're escaping and it's to make them go different directions. And it's a very efficient style of suppressor and they're really not that much money um, in terms of price. Uh, this is a suppressor that can really um, be broken down easily for cleaning and it's user serviceable, which for me is a very important um, you know, fact with a suppressor is ease of maintenance. Now, one of the interesting things about advanced armament that a lot of you that, uh, may not know is that they actually got their start in this very building. Um, before it was Bullseye, it was Advanced Armament. And uh, I'm not going to go into too much details about how you know they started, but um, eventually, of course, they went their separate ways. But um, very, very cool company. Advanced Armament makes some really good products. Uh, the Prodigy is a very nice can for the money. Another um, excellent can that AAC makes 
is called the uh, Tyrant, and this is a 45 ACP can. Now this is a K-baffle style can with a, uh, with a step, your adapter ring screws into the end, you have a tool that you have to use to disassemble the can, and then all of your baffles fall out. And this is more of like a traditional can with a baffle stack, okay? Uh, very quiet, very lightweight, um, very nice can, all right? So the Tyrant, that's a very popular can these days. Of course, anything that AAC is touching is turned into gold. Uh, they've been in the suppressor industry for a very long time. Another very popular can that they make is the uh, 762 SDN6. And uh, what this is meant to be is supposed to interface with a lot of those uh, flash hiders that are suppressor adaptable. And from a standpoint of it being able to lock in place, it just uh, goes on, latches into place, and then when you take it off, it's a quick release. You unlatch it and a quick turn, and it's got basically locking lugs in there that just kind of snap into place. Uh, this is a very popular can. Um, very lightweight for the most part. Um, I believe this particular one is also a K-baffle, not a monolithic, not with that design. Um, but again, a very nice can. We're going to show you a couple more and then we'll roll on to look at a few other things. All right, I'm going to show you another suppressor that's one of my personal favorites. This is the Silencer Co. Osprey. It's a 45 caliber suppressor. It can also be utilized on 9mm or smaller calibers, 40s, uh, with appropriate adapters. Um, I have ran this particular can on a variety of guns. I've run them on the HK USP, very quiet. I've run them on MP5 full auto, very quiet. Um, the reason I'm showing you this can, obviously, because it's one that I have direct experience with. I can speak very highly of this company uh, and of this can. Uh, Silencer Co. is one of those companies that is uh, very, very well thought of company. Um, they really have the uh, interests of the people and their rights and Second Amendment rights uh, in mind. I mean, they're uh, the company that sends representatives to Washington to lobby for uh, trying to clean up all the mess with the ATF and all of the, uh, the slow, uh, snail-like paperwork that we have to go through. So they really are on the uh, cutting edge of trying to, to get that whole process, you know, cleaned up and, and made a little bit easier. So um, I really have a lot of respect for Silencer Co. They're a great company. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Look at that. GE minigun. Awesome. All right, I'm sure you guys remember when we uh, said hello to our little friend, the M60 here. Uh, when we get a hold of this M60, some trouble ensues where we uh, blew up the Kia the last time we took it out. Uh, and this is the uh, gun from that video, the M60. Pretty good day when you get to play around with these things. All right, we got a beautiful MP40 here. Uh, we're actually going to be taking uh, one of these MP40s out in the near future. Um, one of my YouTube subscribers gave me a call and said his father's got one for sale. Um, so luckily, here soon, uh, we'll be taking a MP40 out. But these are just uh, beautiful machine guns, very well made. Of course, uh, typical German quality you come to expect out of anything. But uh, this is just really one of the coolest machine guns ever as the MP40. Uh, very prolific and infamous at the same time. Uh, so, you know, original Bakelite, uh, you know, materials on the gun, very cool. We got an awesome German G36 here, full auto. Beautiful setup, folding stock. Well, <laughs> not with a drum in it, but ideally folding stock, 100 round beta drum. Um, this is a sweet gun and um, hopefully uh, eventually we'll get to take something like this out to do video on, but awesome, awesome machine gun. I mean, they just have some amazing firepower here. Uh, and like I say, we will be taking a few of these out uh, to make some racket. All right, we got one of my personal favorites here, the SIG 552. This is a uh, SBR with a folding stock. Um, full auto, of course. Beautiful setup. Got those, you know, nice Swiss made magazines. Just a uh, beautiful rig. You really can't beat a SIG across the board. I mean, this is just a beautiful machine gun. Uh, you guys leave your comments and suggestions below. And if you'd like, if you see something on the wall back here that you just really go and goo-goo over, uh, let me know. I might be able to accommodate that, take one out and do a video for you.
All right, one of the things that I like about Bullseye is the way that they have their range time structured. It's really fair, man. Five bucks for the first 30 minutes, three bucks for additional 30. I mean, for $8, you could shoot for an hour. And that's really nice if you just need to come in, pop a few shots real quick. Um, they have machine gun rentals. Uh, this is a uh, Beretta uh, model PM12. We're gonna be running for you here in a minute. But $10 machine gun rentals, and you can freaking, you have to buy their ammo, but man, I mean, for 50 bucks, come in and wear out a couple of machine guns, you can't beat it. Uh, they also have uh, rifles that let you rent for like 10 bucks. Uh, handguns, five bucks. So very fair rentals. All right, you know I don't do any videos without shooting something. So let's shoot this Beretta. That's what I'm talking about. That thing's got a very controllable rate of fire. Let's see how well uh, we kept them in there. Not bad once I got used to the cadence. I mean, considering that's the first time I ever shot one, I bet with little practice I could probably keep them all in about a fist size group. Pretty cool. All right, well, we want to thank you guys for uh, checking out my video today. If you're ever in Lawrenceville and you want to check out a real nice gun shop and range, you need to definitely drop by Bullseye. Uh, we do business with them quite often. They're good friends of ours, and we'd definitely like to, you know, have you guys come check them out if you're in the area. Um, you know, very good deals with the range and everything they got set up. Very nice establishment, very nice shop. Uh, we appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.